black fingernails. That's just real bad. <coughs> Excuse me. So she's wearing a dress and she maybe thinks the dress is giving her a look. But we like different things. We like the, the makeup, the shimmering hair, the hairdo. We like to see some pearl moving in her ears, earrings. And of course white nails, that would be nice. So, um, I hear I rot going somewhere, nurse. Police force, gangster. No carpet, curtain, cloth, tapestry, machine, hard metal, or raw material should be included in dresses. Right? So if you look like you're doing a job, like going somewhere, then of course this doesn't look like you're dressed for a festivity. Then you are a white dressed nurse, a blue dressed police officer. So that's why these one color things don't really, you know. And here it's like, there is no, well, she's got no hands. And she's got no feet. She's sweeping the floor. And this carpet design again looks like tapestry, it's messy. The design is too small when it's all over like this just doesn't do it I mean that one is really horrible Lottie Moss, I'm sorry cannot really you know, there is even two colors going on she's got this color here and then that one, a similar one Probably like this. There's just two similar colors layered on top of each other. So if she's wearing something like this, then it's just too messy when you look here. It's simple. Something like this and a necklace would have uh, served her better. got a lot of women on one page and they're all beautiful women but now you can't say she Mandy Moore got a more beautiful face somehow You know, she's got eyebrows going on. <sighs> and hair. And all. But somehow she looks, she, she had the, has the features to be a real beautiful woman. But she, having no hair going on and this kind of unflattering hairstyle. She's smiling. She seems accessible. So she's actually making a better impression on this page than her. It's very funny that I have to say so, but she is not smiling. She doesn't seem to be accessible. Now she is smiling, but the way that she's smiling with that too much lips going on, and now here we're gonna be looking at detail. She, she seems vulgar. There's just too much lips going on. Slightly vulgar. And you wouldn't ask her for advice, would you? Also, do you want to 
spend your holidays with a face like this. She's just beautiful, people serve her, the world, to her feet. She doesn't have to reach for stuff. Whereas a woman like this, she seems, if she were to be smiling, nicer. But she seems classic, knowledged. She seems to be interesting. There is some sort of mystery about her. Her nice face does not come across because she's not smiling. And as I said, the partition of the hair needs to be above that eye that is uh, talking emotions. So she's not doing that. We can sense that she's kind of having a curtain going on down here with her hair. <coughs> so um, to me, this is the nicest face of all of them. But it does not come across because her not be smiling. Her jaw is not relaxed. She has no open mouth. We don't see her healthy teeth. The same here. She's smiling, but she should open her mouth. It smile like this. Forget about it. And now there comes the, the curious. She's not smiling at all. But she comes across friendly. You know, she has hair going on and she has this open kind of neck. And the eye, the one above her heart, is all out. a partition of the hairs the hair that is flattering Mrs. Zendaya huh? Mahogany, is that her name? Brittany Snow, Jessica Justine she's Amy Adams but she's got just one name what's that? so it's a singer okay and she's having a snoot. She's not relaxed. She's not liking it at the moment. That's what her mouth signals to me. And it's a genuine expression. When people smile with their mouths just on this side going up and then here it's all flat. <laughs> what a bad drawing. You would know it's them consciously smiling. But when she's having that snoot on her emotional side, you know, for real, how she's feeling. So, still, she's got the nicest face. She's the most accessible. The hair is open, the mouth is open, she's smiling. Even though she has a less even face than all the others. She doesn't look like a baby, right? Her face is less even than hers. She looks more accessible, more friendly, more likable. She gets more points on here. She's sexy here, yes, but not accessible. So here, uh, this one was Julianne Oak. So here, Gigi Hadid, she's got the advantage of having cheeks going on. So with those cheeks, she always looks kind of childish, baby. The round face as well, like it's a bit oval, but mostly round, you know.
That's why she doesn't look that much like a baby, even though her nose is also a bit like hers. Small, right? But her eyes are so uh, set far apart that's making her look nicer than her. But still, to me, of those two, who do I want to talk to? Her. Now let's give her the baby. Chin. Right? If you got the chin going on, she hasn't got real chin going on that much. That's why she looks like a baby. Babies have no uh, chins going on. They're just round and fleshy. So now she looks more like a baby here. <laughs> yeah. But even though her kind of uh, skin is uh, kind of doing stuff and she kind of uh, has a line going right there one there, one up and even here she's got stuff going on while she smiles and here too, I don't know what that is she looks better than her She looks a bit vulgar, you know, the lips, she has a red line and then she painted the lips rose, maybe that one makes her lips go this kind of bulgy, that's not classic, her lips are perfect, just rose. These are perfect lips. They don't go for some certain style. It's just classic lips. Not too much color going on. Here, that's too much red. Looks cheap again when you have too much color on your face. That's why I keep saying she's got the nice and Sick look. Yeah. So yeah. That's it. The parting of the hair in the middle. She's kind of undoing by throwing onto her back all the hair on the side of her heart. So then again she looks accessible. That's good for her works when you have such a lot of hair and you part it here then of course you have much more hair on this side than here I understand why she's kind of doing it in the middle that's good for long hair of course it is yeah for long heavy hair like she seems to have this is perfect yeah